So basically, whenever uh, I go on a date, it's an interview. I, was say, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you kind of run your life like a business, so I wouldn't be surprised that. <laughs> when you so come, to... come in a suit, a game, resume, yeah. cover letter, cover letter, cover letter. on <laughs> cardstock, not that business flimsy cards. printer paper shit. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> You're listening to Babes and Bad Decisions podcast. We're babes, we make bad decisions, and we're here to tell you about them. <laughs> Hello. Good. Hello. Welcome to our first episode. <laughs> My name is Elena. I am 21 years old, and I'm currently living in Tallahassee, Florida. Hi, I'm Charlotte. I'm currently 20. I am from New York, and I'm currently also living in Tallahassee, Florida. And then I'm Emily. I am 22. I am from Orlando, but I'm living in Nashville, Tennessee right now. Ooh. Ooh. She's fancy. I am fancy. I ditched them. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. Uh, okay, so we're just going to do a quick little introduction to let you guys get to know a little bit more about us, um, and then we'll jump into our first topic for today. Ooh. So a little bit about us and how we know each other. So we all went Elena to- Elena and I are married. <laughs> yes, we are wives. I'm the kid. <laughs> yeah. uh, we all went to the Florida State University. Go Knowles. The Florida State The, the Florida, Florida State, State University. currently shut down Florida State <laughs> University. <laughs> right. And, uh, yeah, so we all met through this little acapella group called the Acapellas, mm. and we were roommates. The Acapellas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's really, like... Okay, well, you just lied. So, yeah. because you and I have known each other <gasps> for right. 11 years. <laughs> Elena and I have known each other for 11 years. We met in middle school. It's true. And I hated she her. She hated me. Oh, because she was talented. And, middle um, school. That's middle it'd school. be like that. <laughs> she was small and had resting bitch face. I, like, had to hate her. Still true. It's still true. <laughs> still small, still have resting bitch face. And then we became friends in high school, like, genuine friends. Yes. And then she followed me to college, yeah. and I can't get rid of her. Exactly. Probably going to move to Nashville <laughs> Probably. <next. laughs> um, and then we adopted Charlotte. Yes. Yes. Our child. They took me in yeah. to the family. We're still trying to teach her right from wrong. Yeah. She's See, Elena and I are the babes, and then Charlotte's the bad <laughs> decision. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Period. That's all you need to know. Okay. And we're done. Char- Thanks for listening. Charlotte's a babe, <laughs> yeah. too. And that's the end of our first episode. So, yes. We were roommates in college for one roommates. year. Emily and, and I lived roommates. together for two. Yes. And uh, Charlotte joined us. Year. Yes. And now together. Charlotte and I are living together. Um, yeah. So, what we're doing now, Charlotte and I are still in college. I'm finishing yeah. up college. She's a junior. Yeah. And Emily, what are you doing? I moved to Nashville. Wow. Um, She's adulting. <laughs> I was adulting, and then the coronavirus the caused corona. me to lose my job. So, as of right now, I'm figuring it out while the world is at a standstill. And that's why we're here filming this podcast. Yes. <laughs> so, we'll see how this goes, because uh-huh. it'll probably go terribly but yeah but we'll tell you about it yeah we will that's the whole point it's part of the bad decisions you'll get to watch the crash and burn yeah so we actually wanted to start this podcast a while ago so i actually i i I wanted to do it and i went to charlotte right Mm -hmm. i went to you first and i was like okay i really want to do a podcast um we need to get elena on board and i made a powerpoint <laughs> about all the reasons why we should do <laughs> not that it took that much no it didn't but by she the just first likes slide, powerpoints it was the first three slides were essentially me stalling and then in big letters on the fourth one was we should start a podcast and she goes cool i'm in and i go no i have like <laughs> 60 more slides left like please give let me make my case <laughs> <laughs> so i did and so she did um but yeah we kind of started it in april and then life got insane and i graduated and left and school has been weird obviously. she divorced us i divorced without the papers and then yes so we're, we're reviving it yes yeah so our topic for today is attractive qualities so essentially what is your type you know like what's what's the person you go for what, you? what does it for you what does it for what i don't think it's about the physical appearance Shut i think it's up. what's inside i'm gonna kick you off the podcast <laughs> love is blind <laughs> vote to kick <laughs> I second. <laughs> I second. Give her the boot. <laughs> um, well, I guess, no. Well, the first part kind of is a physical appearance. So, Elena, I, I already know yours, but for yes. our listeners. But... I, like, I like me a man's. Oh, man. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> We're men. Menly men. Menly men. men. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My favorite. Uh, no. So, I like tall, usually dark hair, almost always facial hair. Mm-hmm. Um as Emily said, <laughs> a little bit of hair on his chest. Hair on his chest. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yeah, I just like, yeah, dark. That's pretty much yeah. it. Dark hair, Tall, facial dark hair. Handsome. Yeah, pretty much. 
<laughs> that's her type. My go-to. Yeah. So that's all correct. Good yes, job. That is um, fine. Char. Um. Char says she doesn't know. No, She's confused. I. <laughs> <laughs> I normally go for blondes with no facial hair mm-hmm. and blue eyes. Um, Giant noses. No. <laughs> just one time. It was one time. It was just one time. One time. <laughs> um, but oh. right now, you know what? We're experimenting. That's, that's just <laughs> what well, I'll say. Wait, you're going to get coffee with somebody. Yeah. What do, what do they look like? He is black hair, Oh. not blue eyes. Well, see, we're switching right now. Yeah, we we completely just switched. Super funny. But he's still no facial hair. Oh no no no. She no, hates. She doesn't like hair. hair. She likes a freshly waxed man, <laughs> man boy. <laughs> Which tell I, me I'm wrong. I do not understand at all. But she has a very strong oh, feeling. No, yeah. you won't. Uh, no, it's like when you're making out with someone and the, the little hair is just like. I oh, love that like rug no. burn I get all over my face. Yeah. <laughs> I love coming out look look like backwards Santa Claus. Everyone knows with the red beard. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely uh, not. Yeah. So she goes for like. No facial hair and usually blondes um, with blue eyes. And so I usually go for people with darker features. Um, like with men, it's very much like dark hair, like facial hair, like mm-hmm. some hair on their chest. It doesn't have to be a lot, but like that's kind of what I've gone for in the past. Um, a couple redheads sprinkled in there. Yeah, and she's then got some wild cards. I do have some wild cards. And then currently the guy I'm like hooking up with is blonde with blue eyes. It's literally no looks facial like hair. a guy I'd go for. No chest hair. Yeah. She was saying, she saw a picture of him and she was like, that looks like my type. And then she's going to coffee with this dude that is pretty much my type. So. He was the guy on the left. In the picture. He was the guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Emily's guy is very, I told her, what, like Austin, Austin Butler. Yeah. Austin, yes. He kind of looks like Austin Butler. It's very Austin Butler. The secret Butler-esque. is he is Austin Butler. Yeah. And I think, <laughs> God, I would die. I think Emily's thing mainly I think she's less about, at least in her history, it's less about, like, hair color or, like, specific things. I think she just likes them to be a little, I don't know if edgy is the word, but, like... Well, she sent me this text. Moody. Moody. Yeah, a little moody. moody. We were talking about it. Rough around the edges. A little rough. Yeah. She... We were just talking about my type, and I go, okay, well, like, what... How would you describe my type? And she sent me... She she said your type is like kind of rough around the edges, a little goofy, but like manages to exude some type of sexual confidence slash energy. Yeah, Tinder bio, like, Tinder, Tinder bio, Tinder bio. What are there you, you go. For? <laughs> Just like that, it's, but it's real. I couldn't have said it better myself. No, <laughs> shut up. Um, but that's like pretty much my type. Um, with guys and then with girls, I definitely like, I'm like a little more feminine, so I tend to go for like. I would say you go. You'd go for me. Not in a million years. You are her daughter. Incest. You're my kid. That's Incest. gross. Incest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I go for, like, I love a good, like, tattoo sleeve. Mm-hmm. You know, I love. Oh, no, no, no. I love myself um, um, a confident yeah. woman. <laughs> no, you're, <laughs> you're doing great. I would say, like, a Tumblr, like, lesbian. A Tumblr, le- oh, fuck. Yeah. So, yeah, I was on Tumblr, like, like long hair, mm. beanie, half sleeve, mm. maybe a nose ring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with the band. Uh-huh. The fucking, yeah. That's my... <laughs> okay, t- I was on Tumblr during my formative years, okay? Same. You were, too. Tumblr I was, was not like, a Tumblr person. It shows. Visco. Sh- Visco. It sh- she's a, uh, she's a Visco girl, if you've ever seen it. Like, not this, whatever. <laughs> but, like, she's, like, the bougie Visco girl. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Tell next, me I'm wrong. Next topic. You look at me and tell me that I'm wrong. <laughs> me. Um, okay, so along with physical, uh, the age-old question, does size really matter? Ooh. <laughs> Charlotte has a firm answer on this. A firm answer. Firm. A firm, girthy answer. Ew. <laughs> does size really matter? I don't... Mm, I don't think so. Mm-hmm. But it's hard. It's like one of those things where I feel like you have to reach a certain threshold, mm-hmm. but then once you're in that like yeah. range, range. <laughs> it doesn't matter all that much. You know what I mean? Like I feel like it has to be a certain size, mm-hmm. and it, it there's like a too big size, and as long mm-hmm. as it's not too big or anywhere too out of that range, I yeah. don't think it matters that much. I would agree. Um, I agree. I've definitely had sex with someone with a smaller dick and um i mean it like still was good it was just he like had learned how to yeah move um to like hit some good spots (laughs) so 
Let's just say I haven't had a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Your problem's in other departments. It's not the size. <laughs> I feel like we're chilling now. We're chilling. We have not had a problem. <clears throat> we're uh, smooth sailing. We're smooth. And we're... <laughs> I feel like, well, because I've heard, like, scientifically, like, your vagina's only two inches long or something. You might want to fact check that. <laughs> I mean, like, you might be right, but there was this no lady way. that came in for this sex ed speech well, at like, one of our vagina classes. vagina starts, like, further up, because what you actually see is your vulva. And Wait, you've well, reached that's the scientific I mean. portion of this podcast. <laughs> no, well... <laughs> We we'll probably have an episode where we go way more in depth with that. But the average vagina is three to four inches long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. I think maybe it was more of like the like G spot is only two inches up or something. Well, that's why like fingers hit different than dick. Yeah, because you can curve a finger and like reach around and like hit the G spot versus a dick doesn't. It's maybe some do, but (laughs) the the ones I've seen don't curve like that. (laughs) Okay, so we're. No answer on that, essentially. <laughs> we copped out. <laughs> Probably not, but... Okay, and then on the side of more, like, mental, emotional, personality-wise, you guys, like, tend to go for, like, the bad boy, the, like, goody two-shoes. Do you go for, like, the mama's boy? Um, do you go for, like, people that are super emotionally unstable and, like, have a lot of issues in their past? Why are you looking Maybe. at me when you say that? No, I'm more talking to myself, but, <laughs> like... Do you guys have, like, that kind of type? Have you seen a I pattern? I would say mine is definitely, like, um, a person who has two sides. Um, for some reason, like, everyone that I've been with is not a Gemini. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but, no, when they're, like, in public, it's, like, they're one person, and then I see a different side of them that no one sees in the relationship. Like, in a good way or a bad and, way? And definitely a good way. Like, it's, like, kind of, like, I'm a person who has a shell, so I think I definitely look for that in a person as well. Um, want to be turtles together. Yeah, we're just turtle buddies. <laughs> Awkward turtles. Honestly, <laughs> that's definitely what I, like, I guess attached to. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Lena? Um, I think initially I started out definitely going for more, like, the bad boys. Right, like, bad boy, like, just kind of edgy, like, not supposed to type thing. Um, But I think more consistently I like like confidence, um, but I also like having, like, like an outgoing, like, goofy type of person. Um, like, I don't like someone who's way too serious. Um, and I also, I feel like I appreciate someone who can be emotional, whether Mm -hmm. or not that's like in a positive way or in a negative way. But like, I I don't like people who are just like really closed off. Right. Mm, Like, like I can't do that. Get that. Yeah. I've, I've kind of dated a range where like one of my exes was super open about his emotions and like communicated very like healthily and Mm -hmm. then another one (laughs) it was like didn't know how to process his emotions and like I kind of and like we talk about this because like we're on good terms but like I kind (laughs) of I joke that I like taught him how to process real human emotion yeah um and I tend to leave a wake of like Gemini's and therapy behind me (laughs) which is super funny are you you, you a Gemini I'm a Leo she's very proud (laughs) of it oh yeah that's that's something you'll learn about me um I'm a Leo and I'm proud (laughs) (laughs) I'm a Leo and I'm proud. <laughs> but I tend to go for, I guess, people that, like, I used to really go for people that I felt, like, needed fixing. Like, I'm a fixer. Um, like, with people that had bad home lives or childhoods or, like, one was an alcoholic and, <laughs> like, or that hard exterior or, like, doesn't know how to pr- process their emotions. Like, those are the kinds of people that I really used to go for because in an unhealthy way, like, I liked fixing them. Yes. Um. Like, I'm, I'm definitely in a different place emotionally for what I look for. So, I guess we've kind of answered this, Um. but what do you look for in a partner, or, like, what's, like, the first thing you notice when you're attracted to somebody? Mm. I can go. Yeah. Go arms. Yeah. <laughs> arms? Arms. I'm a big arms gal. Um. I need size, or I need definition. Um. <laughs> confidence, because, like, I'm... I'm very confident as a person, but I don't enjoy, like, approaching someone to, like, get them, like, get a conversation started if I'm interested in them in that way and I don't know them at all or there's not, like, a social setting where I can, like, easily go introduce myself. 
So I like someone with the confidence to kind of walk up to me and initiate that. Um, and then like a sense of humor. Like I need someone to make me laugh. Like if you can't make me laugh within the first couple minutes we're hanging out, then it's like, or we can't like give that back and forth, like Mm -hmm. fuck with each other vibe. Like, sorry. you're not. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I think probably my first thing is confidence. I would have to say, um, I think physically it sounds corny, but it's probably like smile. It's probably like just face in general. Um, but definitely like the confidence and the kind of also like that back and forth Mm -hmm. like if i'm having to lead everything that's happening like i don't want to that's exhausting yeah (laughs) yeah it's no fun i would say like i don't look for something like immediately i feel like i'm a person who's like like this why i like hate tinder because like (laughs) i'm such like a conversation person and that is how i will actually know if we have a connection or not and like one thing I definitely look for in any conversation is like I'm a questions person so I'm going to ask you like 20 questions and I will tell you that up front and if you don't ask me anything about myself back I can already tell like that's I just I just want to leave immediately (laughs) I just like I went on one date and I I swear I asked him like almost 20 to 30 questions in the in the date and he didn't ask me one thing back oh my god not Not one one not one well yeah you want someone to be like as equally interested yeah. in you yeah like you want to feel like because like yeah because like I, like i'll say it all, all the time i have a shell so like i think that's how i start to open up to someone is to see how they respond to me and my questions so yeah yeah so basically whenever uh i go on a date it's an interview I was gonna say. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you kind of run your life like a business so i wouldn't be surprised that <laughs> When you so wanna... come, come in a suit, a game, resume, yeah. cover letter, cover letter, cover letter. on <laughs> cardstock, not that business flimsy cards. printer paper shit. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, well, do you always stick to your type? Yes. No. <laughs> no. Correct. Correct. <laughs> yes. Good answer. Yes. Sure. No. no. I think especially now, like I think I'm definitely, I would say, meeting people that I would never probably find myself attracted to i'm just kind of just like she's branching like out. you can't yeah. knock it till you try it that's where sure. i'm at right now yeah. so okay well that's um really all the questions i had right. do you guys have anything to add for um, i don't think so type? i think generally like what char said you shouldn't try to stick with your type because um like my i have a good friend and he's kind of sworn off saying he has any sort of type um or like even like i i was prying and he was very drunk so i was like maybe i can get it out of him but that sounded really terrible no like (laughs) prying to see like what his type was before he decided he didn't have a type and he wouldn't even tell me um he eventually did like later that his was like very girl next door but he's like i try not to have a type because it mentally like blocks off some people Mm -hmm. that like i could really get along with and really like yeah they're just not quote unquote my type so i like don't even attempt Mm -hmm. um yeah so i think like you you gotta branch out and like even if they don't fit your type, like, if you – don't branch out if you think they're, like, stupid ugly. But, <laughs> but like, if you think if you think they're attractive but you're, like, oh, well, you know, he's blonde, so it's not going to work. Like, right. if you – there's attractive qualities, like, try it out. Go for it. Like, who knows? It could be great. It could be terrible what you thought it would be, and then you never have to see them again, hopefully. Yeah. You got to dabble. You do have to dabble. Now is the time for dabbling. <laughs> Dibble dabble. <laughs> and on that note – On that note <laughs> – all right. So, um, like I said, I'm like definitely a questions person. So at the end of every episode, I'm usually either going to do like, um, some random questions to ask, um, M and Elena, or I'm going to do like a game. So for this one, I'm going to do, who <laughs> that's the game. Oh I'm going to pass out. <laughs> Who's most likely to. So, um, can we they, include you? Yeah. Okay, cool. No, definitely. Sweet. Uh, so I just have like three questions and basically you can just, just say the person, you can explain, you do what you want. Okay. Okay. Most likely to take the longest getting ready. Emily. <laughs> <laughs> Is it me? I should have just like in my notes been like, shout out to Emily. It's Emily. <laughs> it's Is it me? Definitely you. It is 100% you. Definitely Emily. The photo shoot for this podcast. If we look back on that moment. <laughs> How long did I take? Emily, I literally was in the parking lot with Lauren, and you were not, you hadn't even left the house. You were curling your hair. I had to bring the 
had to bring the uh mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. Uh, ice cream. I had to bring the ice cream. No, I was sitting at the kitchen table, and Emily's door was open, and I'm sitting at the kitchen table, fully ready, staring at texting me. Charlotte. Charlotte's like, "I'm here," and I'm like <laughs> looking at Emily, and I'm like, "She's not ready." <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That one was pretty easy. I definitely can take my time, but most of the time I don't. Yeah. Well, yeah. See, the thing is with you two. Specifically in the hair region, like, you both have very presentable hair all the time. Like, Elena's is pretty much straight. straight and then Char's, like, has a little bit of a wave to it. There goes her <clears> voice. While I go through puberty again. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but mine is, like, very finicky. Like, it's curly, but sometimes it's straight. And, like, usually it's frizzy. So I have to do something to it. The question is when she starts. <laughs> yeah, my start time isn't great. That's fair. That's fair. But... Um, okay, fine. <laughs> she took that one. Yes. All right, next one. Uh, who's most likely to forget about an anniversary or a birthday? Charlotte. Definitely wow. Definitely Char. Because you have like 600 other things going on. You're gonna, I'll yeah. be like, what's Thursday, Char? And you'll be like, well, it's my like blah, blah, blah meeting. And then I have this interview. And then I have like she this goes, test to study for. And I'll be like, I don't know. I'd have to check my planner. I don't know. I'd have to check my planner. <laughs> I feel like if it's not in the planner, it's it doesn't not exist. <laughs> Guys, God bless Facebook, though, because, like, shut up. That's why I haven't missed my birthdays? mom's birthday. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, my God. I'll agree uh, with that. Yeah. Like, same. I love you, Mom, but <clears throat> this year, definitely. For that, sure. That alert saved me. For sure. Um, I'll just take that one, then. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, most likely to get married first. Oh. It's, are we talking about, like, personality-wise or, like, right now well, like you can do both i think personality Realistic life wise, situation yeah pers- i feel like real life it's uh, in my mind it's definitely elena like real life right now i mean i'm the only one in a yeah. serious relationship so but like that that's real life but i think mentally i've been preparing for my wedding since i was six years old my first <laughs> thought was emily yeah yeah it's i knew it wasn't me but There's like no I, way in hell no no way you got no. shit to do no <laughs> I got a schedule. Yeah. Marriage is not on that yet. The planner. Well, I'm also... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me refer to my planner. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> it's not until, like, 2030, so... Yep. <coughs> um, but, yeah. I feel like I want to get married the most out of I agree. you two. I agree. Like, and then I'm probably the only one that's going to have kids. Definitely. So they're going to have, like... Absolutely. Hopefully. And, like, my biological sister probably doesn't want kids either, so, like... <laughs> She's going to have kids for all of us. So I'm going to have kids. I'm yeah. just going to have, like, six kids and just pass them off so everyone can get <laughs> a little cool taste. Aunt. I've oh, always what? said it. I will always be the cool aunt. Yep. Yeah. Nah. Elena's going to be the cool aunt. No, she's the... You're going to be cool, but smart. I 100% have an aunt that's, like, cool, fun, spunky, hip. Spunky all, and hip. All of the above. And then I have the, like, more... Um, Traditional? Ch- yeah, traditional. Like, yeah. Proper. Poise. Yes. Poise aunt. Yes. So which one am I? So you're the poise. So interesting. You're like... Yes. I've described Elena as this multiple times. Elena is... Like a white cat, where her fur... <laughs> the fluffy one. Her, yeah, the fluffy one, where the fur looks like a fur coat, and she just sits on her perch and looks down at her subjects. <laughs> Wait, what am I? My subject. Actually, just corgi. <laughs> just, you're a child. Oh, my God, I love you're corgis. You're a baby corgi. You're so dumb. Uh, but you but got I got a thick a ass. <laughs> <laughs> We're on same, same wavelength. And then I'm a golden retriever puppy, for sure. No, yeah, for sure. I fall over myself. You're Maisie. Well, I'm, even though she's not golden retriever. Yes. Yeah, my dog, Maisie, which you'll hear more about. Uh, but I'm not even blonde anymore. <laughs> so, I'm like a, so, uh, a red golden retriever. Yeah. Go. For the answer to that one, <laughs> realistically, I think Elena will probably get married first. At this rate. At this rate. Yeah, at this rate. Uh, but that's the questions for this episode. So if you have any questions, games, ideas... Just want to say hi. Just uh, DM us, and uh, maybe you'll see those pop up in the upcoming episodes. All right, y'all. Thanks so much for listening. Uh, you can find us over on Instagram at Babes and Bad Decisions, and on Twitter at B A B D Podcast. You can also email us at Babes and Bad Decisions at Gmail dot com. Um, and we're working on getting a website up and running, so be on the lookout for some updates on that uh, coming up soon. So I just wanted to leave us um, with this little tidbit. Attraction in this pandemic, it's more likely than you think. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye.